course, the summertime is here, and that means that the kids are out of school and in the house on the video games. Or they're texting their best friends. They're not doing math. Why not get the kids up off the sofa and keep their minds moving and their body bodies in shape? So, joining us now is Susie Kuntz, a former teacher who created the Math and Movement Learning System. All right, so awesome. <laughs> Brittany and I. This is a parent's. Dream. And this is our worst nightmare because we're terrible at math. And our worst nightmare. Yeah, that's right. So tell us about this math and movement. Yeah. Math and movement is a way for kids to be physically active while they learn math. They okay. do math aerobics and they jump on fun, colorful floor mats like this one. Okay. Very that's great. Cool. All right. So uh, tell us a little bit about that combination of the physical activity along with the cerebral activity of doing math. Yeah. Math and movement helps kids to learn faster. What happens is that when you pump glucose and oxygen into your brain, mm -hmm. it fires the brain up for fast learning, okay. maximum learning. They learn so quickly when you combine physical exercise and learning math or huh. learning anything. Okay. okay. Plus, I mean, there's a lot of kids who are different learners, you yeah. know, and sometimes doing something physical will help uh, someone actually learn easier mm -hmm. than if you're just sitting and teaching them face to face. So you'll demonstrate to us some things, right? Yes, exactly. This uses okay. a visual, auditory, and kinesthetic approach okay. Okay. to help um, the kids learn. And our research has shown that with the math and movement activities mm -hmm. done in schools, kids learn about five times faster. Wow. Five That's times really faster. Kind of amazing. Okay. okay. All right. So uh, I think I'm going to be kind of the guinea pig here. You're going to do as much as you can. Yes. Uh, mommy to be here. So uh, first of all, let's talk about this. Uh, obviously, we got the giant 100, but you got the, this little guy over here. Do we want to yeah. start small or do we want to go with the grand let's poobah? Start, um, let's start with math aerobics. Math aerobics. Math okay. aerobics. So this I'll is do the what I can. twist. All right. So what you're going to do is to do cross-body movements because this integrates the left and right hemispheres of the brain. Okay. So what you're going to do is to lift one, your oh. foot up and touch your toe. Whisper one. <laughs> then the other foot. Two. Probably elbow to knee. One. You're doing good, Chad. <laughs> and then clap and say five. Five. So what we're doing is we keep doing this all the way up to 50 because when okay. we whisper on numbers that are not the multiples and clap and say the multiples loudly, mm -hmm. it embeds the multiples in our memory. So when the oh. kids get in school in third grade and they need to learn multiplication, boom, they have it. They just wow. think back to this moment yes. when they learn physically how to do it. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Very so cool. we, we do that. What's the next step in this? So that's the math aerobics. So this uh -huh. is the giant hundred, hundred number grid. Yes. Mm -hmm. So what we do with this is, okay, so stand on 34. Chad. Okay. All right. And so then we roll the die. And so let's say we roll it and we get... Come on, one. Oh, six. six. <laughs> so what you're going to do is to add six steps. So starting at 35, take mm -hmm. six. One, two, five. three, four, five, six. That's I got, great. I got that down. That's got great. That. Ah, awesome. <laughs> Good I need for this. You. I don't even I don't even need my phone calculator anymore. <laughs> I just need this large mat and that's how I will do math at my house now. Okay. So addition, obviously. What's some other things that we can so do? So subtraction, subtraction multiplication. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and so you can you can do skip counting. You could say skip counting by threes, you could whisper one, two, three. Okay. Four, five. Six. For the older kids, you can do rounding. Yeah. So you can put these numbers over here, like 30, 40, and mm -hmm. then you ask the child or the student, okay, so if you're on 46, what's closer? Is it 50 or is it 40? Oh, yeah. Okay. Now, uh, what ages do you think this is perfect for? It's, it really starts at pre-K and then yeah. goes all the way up through 12th grade. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, but we also are working with colleges now because right really? now kids, they, you know, kids have a sedentary lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we're trying to increase their physical activity mm -hmm. and help them to learn faster. That's so true. So let me Technology show you these days are, are it's killing them. So <laughs> this, is the, this is the funnest mat ever. This is okay. the hopping mat. So just okay. pull this right here. What we're going to do is just lay it down. This mm -hmm. is how kids can become really solid with multiplication. Okay. What they're doing is they're jumping along three, six, nine, twelve, oh. shouting the multiples. Okay. Uh -huh. And so what, then what you can do is you can say, okay, what's three times three? Three jumps. Three jumps. One, two, three. Three times three is nine. We have a clipboard. We have the multiplication questions on the clipboard, uh -huh. and then we they just answer the questions. Kids are willing to practice for a long period of time because yeah. of the bright, colorful formats. I mm -hmm. think it's so much fun. So it makes it yeah. really accessible for them. Yeah. It's not just sitting there looking at these numbers that can sometimes be daunting. Right. Now, now, Susie, being a math teacher and obviously developing this, 
the the way we teach our kids math has changed yes. uh, a lot over the years. There's new ways of doing it, old ways of doing it. What is your opinion on, on this? I mean, obviously, you're going to be a proponent of this, but in, in terms of looking at the way that we've, we've learned over the years, the way Brittany and I learned, yeah. what's your opinion on the new school, I guess, so to speak, of math? I think what's most important is that we have kids up and moving. Mm -hmm. yeah. The more we can get them to be physically active, the faster we can get them to learn. Mm -hmm. And whether it's at home or whether it's in school, using these tools help the kids learn at a very fast pace. Now, can someone purchase these? Yes. Okay, how do they purchase them? Um, the Math and Movement website, mathandmovement.com. Easy okay. enough to remember. Right. So, okay. obviously, we've got these two here. Are these the, the two main products that we have there? Are there different things? There are about 150 different 150. possibilities. Oh, wow. Okay. It's, it's huge. Okay. Wow. So you can and narrow those down by age or what your kid act or like needs yes, help with. Yes. In okay. preschool, there, there's also literacy. There's the alphabet hot mat. There's words. Oh, okay. Because we found that it was so successful with math, and then that, that people were asking us, "What else do you mm -hmm. have?" And mm -hmm. so we developed materials for literacy. Yeah. We had this wonderful experience where we had the word hot mat, and we had a student that was struggling so much with reading, mm -hmm. and all he did was jump and say the words, and boom, he no learned kidding. those words. He was absolutely wow. illiterate, and then. Four minutes later, he knew seven words. That's amazing. It's incredible. That is really incredible. It's the power of movement. Yeah, absolutely. All right. So, parents at home, if you want to get more information on this, obviously a lot of different things that you can be doing. Head over to casa.com. You can do the math. You can do the the the, the, the language. All sorts of things. This is such a cool yeah, development. Yeah. Very cool.